Hello everyone. Welcome back to another Crystals Reviews and Other Things. And the other thing today is Harold. Harold's here. And we got microphones on, so I'm gonna talk directly into the microphone. Um We're at a nice little place here in Denver called Den Burger Haven. Made in 1961. Oh, you did your research. Sure did. It's not owned by the original people, but uh, let's... I gotta find my tooth holder. They don't have a drive through First red flag. Do it I... looked look like it did have a drive through right? It looked like when you it looked like the type of establishment when you pull up that it has a drive-thru but it doesn't. Which all right. Do you like my blouse? That's cute. I was about to compliment it. Looks like your jacket but in a blouse. And it matches your blouse her. Form. It matches your hair. It does match my hair. All right, we're going to start by by showcasing the burgers that we got cuz they're famous here for their burgers. That's why they're called the Burger Haven. Can you get the burgers? I sure. can't reach them. He put them on the on the windshield, and I can't reach them. There you go. This is large. This is large. the original six-inch smash burger. Look how big it is. It's almost the size of my head. It was supposed to be a double patty burger, but they um, I don't know if I forgot to mention it or if they screwed it up because mine is a double. That one's a single. Now, let me ask you this. Look at those edges, though. When you ordered it, did you say, please make it cold? No, it is cold, right? It's not piping hot. It's not even a little bit hot. It's cold. Oh, wow. Should I go tell is them something? Yours? Mine's... Why don't you just switch? I'll eat that one. And take this toothpick out because Lord knows I don't need a. If you swallow that toothpick, that'll be it for you. Uh, that'll be it for me. No Heimlich maneuver will save me. I gotta cut this in half because of my teeth. You didn't want to do a thumbnail? That's all right. We no, do... I'm already mad. Okay. Oh my god. This little burnt edges. I like the little burnt edges. What? Look good. It good? Mmm. Mmm. They could really hear us chewing on these microphones. I'm gonna be smacking my lips on these microphones. <laughs> Some people don't like it when you smack. I try not to smack my lips, but it's just hard. But I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do my best not to smack my lips. Because I know the audio's gonna pick it up. Second red flag, or is this the third red flag? I don't like dog in restaurants, but damn, heat my burger up. It's good, but I mean, it is a smash burger. It's all right. It could have been hotter, though. Maybe because the burger's so small, it can't retain heat. Mmm, the mustard. I told them to hold the pickle. Why? Because I don't know. Sometimes a pickle, you're trying to bite in the burger and the pickle slides out the back. Same thing with tomato. Like, if the tomato's cut too thick for me, it's like slides out the back. It makes the, the burger messy. That's just my opinion. Mm. I'm over this burger, to tell you the truth. You serious? About ready to drive somewhere else and eat. What else we got to eat? Anything? Well, you're going to lose it. If you lost it with that, you're going to lose it with this. So I ordered um, onion rings and fries. They asked, do you want a regular order or large? I said regular. Look at this. Mind you, the fries were like two fifty, almost $3. And no, there's no loose fries in the bag. Look at, Did look at this. Did you eat some on the way out? No, I didn't. 
three dollars almost for these little fries here. Let's see. We're going somewhere else. This is ridiculous. They're cold. And they're three dollars almost for these. Look at the size of my hand. Look at these fries. This ain't a burger haven. This is a burger hell. Jim's burger hell. What is this? What is this? I'm stopping it because we're going somewhere else. And we'll just hook this on to the next video. Are these the onion rings? Yeah. Oh, wow. They're piping hot. Well, why not the fries, right? I don't even want them. I'm so mad. Want me to go say something? No, what you going to say? And they're going to say, I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. Yeah, because no one should have to pay for a cold burger and, I mean, I'll go say something. You know me, I don't mind saying something. No. Especially if somebody pays with their food, with their hard work, earned money, you don't want cold food. Well, at least they got Heinz ketchup. That's one thing. Oh, you no. For That's from um, another, I, that was at the, on the door. That was from somewhere else. That I, I, I like to save ketchup, guys. So this is from somewhere else. Did they have give us ketchup? No, they didn't put ketchup in the bag. Did you ask for it? No. Well, they had like the self-serve pump ketchup. Oh, okay. And I was gonna ask them for a little packets, but I remembered I had some in the car. But mind you, look at this look at these fries again. Get them out of my face. Why did they think that was okay? Do they have they have a, a rule you can only put twelve pieces of twelve fries or less? One, two, let's count these fries. Two, three, four, six, ten. And my, these are little fries too, so these don't count as a full fry. So there's about 15 fries in here total for almost $3. If you, take, if you take $3 divided by 15, that makes each thing about I don't know what the math is but that's a lot of money per you're, you're, you're so mad you can't even think straight right now and I could tell when Chris was mad well we're going to shut this off we're going to drive up the street to get something else so stay tuned hello how are you hello hold on everybody alright well, you can go can first. I get a number one single? Number one Me, uh, medium with. Um, do you have a uh, Coke Z Coke Zero? Coke Zero, yeah. Yeah, I want to get Coke Zero with that. Is that all? And then I would like a medium chocolate frosty. Okay. And then this man wants something too. Hold on one second. <sighs> Can you give me, um, down, down, down. Let me get that, um, new grilled chicken ranch wrap. But I, no, let me just get the actual, um, the, the wrap. And you know what, that'll do me. Yeah, that uh, crunch wrap. Ooh, you know what would sound like good too? Like a lettuce wrap. That thing tricked kids. Hi, would you like to use your rewards? Wow, that's really, that stuff is spooky. Yeah. That's really scary. They got Halloween stuff right here. It's really scary. It says, beware. Enter if you dare. I won't try to enter, that's for sure. Because look at it. Bloody skeleton hands. Thank you. Thank you. I don't want nobody trying to look at my credit card. Yeah, there's a lot of scammers out there. Well, unfortunately, we had a bad experience at Fred's Burger Barn. <laughs> so we had to come here. Yeah, that burger was colder than that thing. And I was so mad I had to cool off before I could come here. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, that is really cute. I'll take that. Thank you. It was really 
Man, that was quick. Quicker than that. Thing. Thing. Ooh, the light is nice. Well, it's cloudy here, so. It was nice about three minutes ago. No, but it's good that, lighting for look this. Look at that up in the sky. Looks like a tornado. It does. I was watching a video recently uh, of a tornado that hit back in like 2009, not too far from where where uh, the hotel is. What? I wonder when the last tornado was here. In, oh wow, it does look like a tornado. I wonder when the last tornado was in uh, here in Colorado. All right, first things first. I have a straw. Wendy's straw has a very small oh. diameter. They used to have larger ones. Let me check these fries. Fries are hot. As they should be. That looks like that's for you, something long. You know that this says mom right here, right? What is that, her little cuff link? Yeah, they said they, they did that in the marketing to make people with to make people like feel like mom made it, I guess. Is this a conspiracy? Yes. Is it proven mm. in a court of law? No. That's one thing about this man who's wearing uh, a wife beater. Wife beater. I didn't want to say that. A dago tee. First of all, he just he's gonna start lifting weights and all of a sudden starts wearing shirts like this to show off his muscles. Just because I, you go to the gym don't mean you have to start wearing tank tops. No, I I have a, a reason for it. I'm right, why I'm wearing the tank top. One, I'm a guy and I can wear a tank top like this, right? Two, I was I was Wait, at the women can't wear tank tops like that. Yeah, they can, but I think you know they're most common like for guys to wear. Well, you're right, women do wear them all the time, but you know what I meant, like wife beaters. No, that's why I said. And then I went to the gym, and then I went to physical therapy. I've been going to see this chiropractor for he's been helping me with my back. So, and then from there I came to meet up Crystal so we could do this mukbang, hence, so I didn't have time to change. Well, I don't mind, and I'm sure the viewers don't mind. Anyways, uh, it does look like it says mom. Mom. Now, that would not be good for me because my mom was not a good cook. So you put that on there, and I see that, I immediately, my brain thinks food's not going to be good. So they need to. They need to study that more if that's really what that was. Now, your mom, she cooks good. That was it to say that next. I was saying, well, in my case, my mom. Right. She cooks good. So, I good. got the regular single with cheese. You notice they always have those square patties. I wonder why, but they're not It's round. a square beyond compare. Or wait, is that a different place? I don't know. I never heard of that saying. And what'd you get? I got me a uh, chicken lettuce, chicken wrap. Let's, let's unwrap this thing. You can't go wrong with Wendy's. Whoa. Let me lower that. Let me see what we got. We got some, let's dissect this. Some lechuga. Lechuga. And some pollo. pollo. And we have some queso. queso. What else? That's crema? about it. Oh, there's ranch. No crema? No, they use ranch instead of crema. Well, looking at that, I'm going to say that's not authentically... Uh, is that supposed to be Mexican? I or guess it's a Mex Mexican-inspired because it's a burrito, but for the for the ranch lovers out there, I think they just substituted it with, uh, with ranch instead of crema. Now, do you like a flour tortilla? I'm not a big fan of flour tortillas, but I, they're good. Depends on what I eat. Now, when I go to a Mexican restaurant, restaurant, they always give me flour tortilla because I'm white, and they they think, oh, she's white, she's gonna eat flour tortilla. But now I've grown to love a corn tortilla. So you prefer corn over flour, is what you're saying? Yes. Look over there at that gym. You can see them people playing basketball. Oh, they are. Where are we? We're in Thornton. Thornton. I shouldn't have unraveled this burrito because now I'm having a hard time. Rolling it back up. Just roll it like you roll a doobie. You tuck and roll. Tuck. That was terrible. 
and roll. Mmm, good though. That ranch is hitting. If you've ever been to Jim's Burger Haven and it's been a good experience, please let me know. Because I would like to try it again, but it made me so mad I was filled with blind rage. I didn't even notice that she was upset until after she stopped the video. Mmm. Blind rage. See how this Coke Zero tastes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did somebody tell you to drink Coke Zero? I just processed that. Mm hmm. Somebody commented that I should try some Coke, drink Coke Zero. And I've tried it. Coke Zero is actually good when it's really cold. Mm. It ain't Coke, but it's the next best thing. I mean, it technically is Coke. I mean, Coca-Cola. I mean, original. I mean, number one place in my heart. Wow. What if the aliens invented Coca-Cola? Is it? It. Yeah, it's a hard. I don't see a bunch of aliens in a Coke factory working and creating it. That was really not necessary. There's a Ford Focus. That's what I used to have. It, it would break down all the time. It would, um, what would break down? What? You wouldn't go blue. Lord tried to put these new kind of transmissions in these focuses. It was called the dual wheel dual wheel transmission. Then they got recalled because a bunch of folks was Are you still listening or are you dancing? I'm multitasking. Then they started recalling it because all the transmissions was bad. Class action lawsuit, all of it. The damn transmission would would get overheated. I've never heard of such a thing. Have you? Transmission? Yes. No. And just stop working. I was doing a Halloween video. I was doing a drive through Halloween thing, and my transmission overheated, and I got stuck inside the Halloween drive through And then another time I went somewhere else doing a drive through and it did the same damn thing. I had a... Um a Ford before and I got a letter saying that there was a recall man I love going to the dealership when there's a recall they treat you nice well you, you pull in because I usually go to a mechanic around the corner or to one of my uncles but when you go to a, when you take your car to the dealership they treat you nice you want some water they have a nice waiting area. Wow, that's a nice experience. That's not the same experience I got. Oh, you did it? They gas. They try to gaslight you. So what? this is really before it started going, going public that those transmissions were bad. They're, oh, there's nothing wrong with your transmission, ma'am. They go gaslight you when me knowing damn well because the damn thing up here saying transmission is too hot, can't move. I didn't know the transmission. Uh, I know they start slipping, but mm -mm. overheating. Never heard of such a thing. Look at my burrito. And there. it was bad. It would be slipping. It wouldn't shift. And that that burger haven put me in such a bad mood. I gotta get it together. I'm gonna take a moment. You know, go, this. Take it out and throw it. It ain't Jim's Burger Barn's fault. Then whose fault is it? 
I don't know if that burger's fault for not staying warm. Try a piece of this meat here. It's good. Yeah. That tortilla don't look good. I don't know, but the meat tastes good. The chicken. I haven't put it in yet. Oh. Mmm, that's good. Right? Look at those people that are eating in their car, too. I mean... I've been eating in my car since I can remember. You know, if I'm in a rush, I'm eating and driving. If you see me on the highway driving and eating, mind your business. <laughs> I do that all the time. At a red light, eating. You don't like eating in your car, though, do you? I hate it, but when you're on the go and you need to eat, man, you got to do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. You'd rather get your food, drive home and have it get cold, and then eat it at home than eat it fresh and hot. The D behind that is I like I'm one of those people that likes to watch something while I eat. So I'd rather get home, turn on TV, put on maybe some YouTube, maybe some family guy, and watch that while I eat. Mm. Big family guy. Big family guy guy. I just got into family guy about a year ago. Mm. If you're watching it on YouTube, that's corporate sponsored piracy. Well, I'm not the one that's posting it. I just watch it. You're supporting it. Yeah, I am. Well, the reason I know that is because I just talked to somebody about that today. You want a fry? Mmm. Lot higher than Greg's Burger Barn. That's for sure. Burger hell, right? Hell on earth, just like Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese, I always say it's like hell on earth. Mm. Mm -hmm. For an adult, not for a child. Children love it. I need a little. Uh, what you need? You still got that ketchup? I sure do. Beaches Tanning Center. Thank you. You ever you ever tan your body? You in one of those little tanning beds? Uh, I have done it before. You didn't get claustrophobic in one of those things? I didn't get claustrophobic, but I started to think about the repercussions of getting tanning. They're technically cooking you, right? You're like a you're like a little burrito inside one of those things, just like this with a bunch of UV lights all around you. Or like a little pig getting made into chicharrones. Chicharrones. A little piggy turning into chicharrones. Mm -hmm. I didn't know chicharrones was a uh, pig skin, fried pig skin until maybe a couple years ago. What did you think it was? I know it was pork, but not the actual skin. Don't ever say skin again. That's disgusting. It's called Cognitive dissonance. Uh, what that mean? <gasps> that means I know I'm eating meat when I eat that hamburger, mm. but I have to separate my brain. Just you know, not think that it's it was a cow. See, if if the world was to come to like an end where you had to like go back to old times and hunt for your food, I'm used to just getting the meat already. What's the word? Butchered and making it, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine having to hunt your own animal, slaughter it. Uh oh. You know, take the different portions of meat, washing it. Okay. And then, you know, getting rid of the cadaver. The cadaver? Is that what it is? The body? Oh. You know, and then a lot of people that hunt their, the hunt animals, they, they, they eat, they, eat every part of the animal. I'm on I couldn't do it. Imagine if we had to go back to, you know, you, that's the only way we could eat. You have to hunt for your food. Mm -mm. Now, who's doing the hunting? You or me? I'm growing a vegetable garden. That's what I'm doing. So you would go vegan then? 
Vegan? I ain't hunting, and I ain't eating no hunted food. Okay, I don't want to know it's there. If you if you do all that in the barn somewhere, okay. where I can't see it, and you just put the meat in my freezer. Okay. Yeah, I'll eat it. What if you hear the animal squealing in the background? Nope, I ain't. Well, we, I'm gonna have to have the barn two miles away from the uh, from where. I ain't living there. I'll just come visit you when you ain't butchering animals. I come, I come back in the house with a, an apron full of blood. Stop. Okay, I'll stop. But it's the reality of it. Look at that cute little thing right there. It's the reality of life. I, I've never hunted before. I'm assuming Crystal hasn't either, right? Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing like a Frosty. Want some? Let me take some. Would you say this is uh, Culver's good? Oh, hell no. This is just something to get you, mm. get you by till you can get to a Culver's. Mm. Let's scrape that thing. Let's scrape it. This damn shirt looks cute. I just bought it at Walmart, and it ain't. Cute. It's a wrap shirt. <laughs> Am I a child? Your child of God. Mm. Prove it. Show me a picture. I don't have a picture of Crystal when she's a baby, but you're a child of God. No, I didn't. Not a picture of me. A picture of God. Oh, G O D. And I ain't talking about an illustration. He got nice hair, though. That's for sure. And don't say. Oh, you can't have a picture of God that's back in the old times. He's he's the most powerful guy in the world. He could invent a camera. A take a selfie. You're telling me the most powerful man in the world who literally created everything? The earth, the grass, the trees, the deer, all that stuff? Can't take a picture of himself? I'm calling bullshit. He's probably uh, shy. Well, he ain't trying to say, Oh... You all piss me off. Here's take this boat. This one guy take this boat, put some animals on it. We're gonna kill everybody else. He wasn't shy about that. And the story goes he that that the um, uh, Noah had to get the animals um, male and female. So male and female giraffes, male and female horses, male and female lions. Have you ever he been able to? Twos. Have you ever been able to wrangle a giraffe? You're telling me a man that was. Because apparently Noah was over a hundred years old. You're telling me a elderly man that's over a hundred is going to go into the Af African safari and get a male and female giraffe? I'm calling bullshit. Well, think about it. Back then, they probably ate food from the earth instead of all this uh, genetically modified food. So I'm pretty sure back then they could live a lot longer. And they they probably, didn't. You don't think so? They only lived to like 30 or 40 back then. Oh, I would have thought the opposite. No. Modern medicine is making us live so damn long. You're telling me a hundred year old man's gonna build a freaking boat the size of a, a Disney cruise and put animals on it? When I'm a hundred, I'm gonna be shitting in my pants. You think? I know. I'm sitting in my pants now. And I'll be changing your your uh, cadaver. I mean, a cadaver. My cadaver. <laughs> your what's my it called? Pamper? Your pamper. Not cadaver. What was I thinking? What do they put in the prostate? What the no. hell are you talking about? <laughs> um, my grandfather, the thing you piss in. Mm. What's it called? Uh, catheter. Catheter. How do I see? Catheter, cadaver. Had two different things, but a sounded like. A cadaver is a dead body. <laughs> no. A catheter. <laughs> a hundred year old man built a ship. I mean, where, there, where there's a, a vision. If you got the vision, and at this, maybe he had, maybe he hired people to build it for him, and he just took all the credit. You ever think about that? It ain't me saying this. It's the Bible. That's why I'm saying God can't take a selfie. Let me try this. He had a bush that was talking. They had a bush that was talking, and you can't take a selfie, God. That's my thing. I'm I'm not believing nothing no more until I see a picture of it, a real picture. What if it's um, 
what if it's a picture but it looks so recent and you're you probably still wouldn't believe it like no you want an old timey picture i want a picture of god holding it thing like this and smiling and then i want to see around him heaven i want to see the pearly gates i want to see all my dead relatives i want to see who's the guy that's at the pearly gates that's in charge of letting folks in what's that guy's name isn't it god there's another guy before you get to God. Oh. Some kind of saint. He's got a book or whatever. He looks through and looks for your name. And if your name ain't in the book, guess what? Taking the elevator downstairs. Uh oh. You know what they also say that I don't know if it's true or not, but that when when we go to heaven, I'm gonna say quote unquote heaven one day, that God's gonna play on a screen or he's gonna show you every time he saved you or he saved you from a bad thing happening you know supposedly whether it's true or not i don't know well then he you know what he needs to show on the screen every single time he gave somebody cancer every time somebody got in a car wreck and got killed show all of it That's me. My brain is always thinking. And I'm thinking of this side and that side. <laughs> what I expect when I get into heaven is food like this. A frosty in a cup? A frosty. Some culvers? Some ranch? Lifetime supply of ranch? What else? Cigarettes. Cigarettes. What about a little, um, those uh little... Because if I'm dead and in heaven already, the cigarettes can't kill me. So I'm going to take up smoking when I get to heaven. Some precious moments figurines. Mm -hmm. What if what if when you go to heaven, it's a precious moments that re greets you at the gate? Would you be happy then? Mm -hmm. or, yeah. Which precious moments character? Any of them? Just any of them. The little girl, that little blonde girl, blue eyes. That, you know, she's got the little prey hands. There's so many different cute ones. I say, come on, Crystal, we've been waiting for you. And then I'd say, let me sit down for a damn minute before you start talking to me. And then, you know how they always show the massive stairs to get all the way up there? I ain't walking them. I'm glad you thought of that because I ain't walking them. Well, how are they going to get you up there? Teleport you? I guess an elevator. Oh, they have to have an elevator, right? The stairway to heaven, more like the elevator to heaven. There you go. What else? What else? What does it have? The, the, does heaven have to have for you to be satisfied? Uh, let's see here. A fountain, fountain Coke machine. Diet Coke or any Coke? Regular Coke. You know what they also say about heaven too? That the animals, all the pretty, all the animals in the world are gonna be up there, and lions and the, like the dangerous ones, they're not gonna attack you. They're gonna be just like super peaceful and nice. Imagine going to heaven and the first time thing that happens to you when you get there is get eaten by a lion. And then what do you have to go to heaven again? Part two? I don't know. That's a, that's a good question. None of it makes sense. I'm not a, the a theologist. A theop. The a theologist, I think, is the person that studies. Religion. You know what they also say too that the angels are like ten feet plus tall. Damn. And supposedly that when you fly, when they take you to heaven, it's gonna take it's gonna be a week long before you oh, get to heaven. Supposedly. And they're gonna have to pick me up. Yeah. So all the angels are supposedly gonna get somebody or whatever and they're gonna take them up there and it's gonna take a week so what you think about that I think they need to get a faster delivery system and I'm not one to tell God what to do I'm just thinking of productivity because I'd imagine there's millions of people in the world probably 100,000 die a day they're gonna have to have a hundred thousand angels each day to begin the process of a week-long transition. Yep. We're going to have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of angels. And supposedly that we're going to live in in heaven for a thousand years. Oh my God. But then so, what? But, and then supposedly God's going to remake 
the earth again and then oh, Jesus. Hum humanity's gonna start all over I believe what kind of bible are you reading I think it's in like revelations or something like that there's like I I never read the bible but these are just like little things little facts that I remember whether they're true or not I don't know what do you call it? you call bs on it or what did you, do you go to sunday school i went to sunday sunday school i know when i get to heaven god's gonna say damn you can eat a frosty fresh and shit mm -hmm. faster than that thing and i'll give god a wink and say that ain't all i can eat it is fine. he'll say i know i watch you eat all the time i said you watch my mukbangs he said sure do who you think invented them He's gonna point to himself like this. He's gonna say me. He's gonna say me. And I'll say, God, why'd you make my tooth fall out? And he'll say, I didn't make your tooth fall out. Let me see, smile. Can't even tell. Like, you did a good job with that. Can't even tell what you're talking about. One's yellow and the next one's semi white. Let me see. I don't want to examine my teeth. Examine your own teeth in the mirror. Look at them. I got a floss. I haven't been doing a good job at flossing. I need a floss today. Flossing should be number one on my. Do you know how list. to do the floss dance? Oh, the not as good as most of these little kids do. If you get out of the car and do it, I'll turn my phone around. So you can <sighs> I can try. Let's see. Let's let's see if he can do it. That's as far as it'll go. You got to move over a little bit. There you go. I cannot believe wait, you. Wait, wait, wait. You can't do it. Wait, wait. It's the opposite. So, ah, 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 ah. Wait. I think you gotta be a teenager to do it. Whoa, he's getting it. Oh, I almost had it. You had it. Can you do another little quick dance here, real quick? Uh, do the Tootsie Roll. Uh, <laughs> do the salsa hey, uh, do a salsa dance. I need a partner. his whistle to get myself some music. That was really beautiful. You really know how to dance. Uh, wow, I look incredible. You look, you're popping. Now, there's going to be some people that are mad that I was talking about religion, and I'm just going to have to say to you, it ain't that serious. You think? It's really not that serious, because honestly, who created me, Dad? Who created me in his image? God. Okay, here you go. Here you go. That's all I'm going to say about that. And if and God don't have a sense of humor, then damn, I don't want nothing to do with that. You know what trips me out how they say that? Not one finger print, finger not print is the same like as uh, exactly this. What was what you trying to say? I have no idea. <laughs> no that, two fingerprints are the I, same? There you go. Isn't that no two snowflakes are the same? Yeah, but it's crazy. Like, imagine how many people have lived on this earth in all these years of mankind and not one person has the same fingerprint what are you trying to do crime or something no the reason why i say that is because i think that's fascinating and if if god created us like that like damn that's that's you know how hard it is to not duplicate a fingerprint after making so many people i don't know that's just something that popped maybe he's got a special computer program or something oh Let's look at. Uh, let me see your. Let me see your thumb. Well, it wouldn't help. It would help. It I'm surprised that I have fingerprints on this one because this is the thumb that I sucked for so long. About to suck the fingerprints off of it. <laughs> and then it's here, like the inside of our hands. There's like a, a thing that says. There's. See how mine has an M. There's like a a myth or something that if you have this M, it means something. Let me see yours. 
Well, you got the M. I think everybody has it, don't they? Yeah, but these, there's like something. Well, what, that, is it, what does it mean? I don't know what it means. It means but you'd probably jerk off too much. Probably. If you were a guy, which one would you use, left or right? Right. I use the left. Because the other one, I'd have my phone out, you know? I use the left. That's why I think I'm supposed to be lefty. You are a lefty. Why do you act like you're not a lefty? You're a lefty. I guess I use both then, you know, because I eat with my left hand, but I write with my right hand. What do you paint with? Both. Then you're ambidextrous. Ambidex I'm, I'm a what? Ambidextrous. One hand on the... Ambid ambidextrous. 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 I don't know how to say that in Spanish. Probably ambidextrous. CEO. I have no idea. I make the CEO. Well, let's get out of here. It looks like it's probably going to have a tornado coming soon. Well... If the tornado hits, hopefully I didn't jinx it because I don't remember the last time there was a tornado here. But, yeah, let's get out of here. Thanks for joining us. My name is Crystal, and that, of course, is... Hurrah, Harry. Harry. Uh-oh. This older gentleman's trying to pull up pull up on us. And uh, this has been a good show for you. If this has been a good show for you, type good show in the comments. That'll be all. I notice a lot of men like to reverse backwards. They love it. I they won't be ready to go in case some shit goes down. Do you do you when you park at a parking lot? Do you go? Do you reverse into it or do you pull in straight forward? Leaving a comment below. They're gonna have a lot of comments to book to leave. <laughs> all right, thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Uh, other side. I'm gonna do it for you. Yeah, you? just go ahead and get it for me. All right.